David Bowen. Mr. Klinderman. Rest in peace, Malcolm Young, the backbone behind ACDC. I guess I'm just getting older, man. The people I grew up as a kid listening to are, uh, are gone, but he was too young to go. We kind of knew, you know, uh, with the dementia and what was going on and him being replaced, but it's always sad, man, um, when you see him start going. ACDC co-founder and guitarist Malcolm Young dies at 64 years old. Um, after uh, battling dementia for several years, the band announced Saturday. He was 64. Young died at home with his family at his bedside, the band said in a statement. Young, along with his brother Angus, founded the legendary rock band in 1975 in Australia. Renowned for his music, musical prowess, Malcolm was a songwriter, guitarist, performer, producer, and visionary who inspired many, the statement said. From the outset, he knew what he wanted to achieve, and along with his younger brother, took the world stage, giving their all at every show. Nothing less would do for their fans. Young played rhythm guitar to Angus Lead, and his driving riffs and mop-top hair were signatures of the band's sound and image for decades. Angus Young, in a separate statement, added that Malcolm took great pride in all that he endeavored. His loyalty to the fans was unsurpassed, he wrote. As his brother, it is hard to express in words what he has meant to me during my life. The bond we had was unique and very special. He leaves behind an enormous legacy that will live on forever. Uh, Young left ACDC in 2014 after the band said he had been struggling with an undisclosed ailment, later revealed to be dementia. He was replaced by his nephew Stevie Young for the band's world tour in 2015. So just my, condol my condolences, man, to the, to the family and the band and all that stuff. You know, I think people saw it coming and ACDC, you know, Angus and, and other family members, I mean, from what I have read, were at his bedside. Like, they kind of knew it wasn't just like, you know, last minute. They knew it was coming, so. But it's always sad when you hear this stuff, man. Uh, when you think of rock and roll, good old just hard rock, ACDC has always been that band for me, you know, because every, every song you heard from them was just hard rock and roll. It was just, and he was kind of a nucleus to that whole thing, man. He held it down like a bass player holds down in a band. Malcolm was that, just very, very solid. So um, you never know when, you, when your time's up, man, your number's up. Make sure you're uh, in good standing with the man upstairs. I'm sure uh, ACDC, if you're a rocker, you know, like me, grew up playing rock and metal, you know, I'm sure that ACDC has left an imprint and you're playing somewhere along the line, even if it was just the Back in Black album, which is my personal favorite. But um, feel free to add into the comments here how uh, Malcolm and or ACDC as a band has affected your playing and uh, maybe I'll do some more lessons. They got a lot of ACDC on here, but I'll do some more. By the way, by the time this is uploaded, he passed away today, but um, I have a bunch of CBT lessons on here that I have to upload to, so I don't know, you know, that this will be up tonight, so it may not be for a few more days, but uh, anyways, rest in peace. Uh, you guys keep rocking supporting ACDC, subscribe to this channel, share these videos, and uh, become a subscriber for sure. Boom, right here, you can just click in and subscribe. I try to keep people updated, man, on uh, music news in the industry and, and uh, on top of the lessons that I had. Just anything musical, man, I try to pay tribute to here on this channel. So uh, special thanks to each and every one of you guys. Until next time, keep rocking.